head of the St. Andrew South Police Division, Superintendent Wayne Cameron, confirmed that several operations have been conducted in search of the persons of interest in last Wednesday's mob killing, but the individuals have not been found. Investigators have been searching for a man and his mother for questioning in connection with the incident, which has attracted wide-scale public condemnation. It was reported that 30-year-old O'Keefe Sewell was killed by a mob after his vehicle splashed a resident on Ricketts Crescent, St. Andrew, during heavy rain. In the meantime, General Secretary of the Jamaica Baptist Union, Reverend Carl Johnson, stated that the incident shows deep-seated cultural issues. He noted that some Jamaicans have poor mediation skills and resort to violence to resolve their issues. There is a sense which just resolving conflict, just being able to talk down a situation is seemingly just becoming such a difficult prospect because we won, yes, might feel that we won't get any justice. We keep underestimating this chronic issue of the dissing culture. I really hope that there'll be a strong response because the more persons get away with this kind of behavior, is the more we just, you know, make it happen too easily. Mr. Johnson also believes that inequality in the society could also be a factor for mob justice. Some people are just crying out for respect. That, boy, listen, I, I am somebody. And when you constantly talk down to me, do things that belittle me, um, people just, just just take matters into their own hands sometimes, just as a way of saying, listen, enough is enough. Does it make it right? God forbid anybody thinks that there's any, even a remote suggestion that this kind of mob justice is right. Meanwhile, the police are planning community interventions in the Ricketts Crescent area in order to increase interaction with community members. Superintendent Cameron said that meetings will be held this week with the residents. PTG Charlton, Frontline News.